Hey guys, we are going to do a little quick project. And as you can see, I got a uh, window here. It's just an old chippy window. Got it in an antique store. Um, I think it's like $12. So we're going to make a mirror out of this. And we're going to use this for display. You can also, uh, you know, sell them if you really wanted to. Or just use it for decoration in your house so um i've already cleaned the window and you're going to need a few things so you are going to need a spray bottle paper towels painter's tape um some kind of black spray paint or craft paint and some looking glass spray paint so really don't need a lot to do this and of course a glove if you don't want it all over your fingers um so i've already cleaned it and i already did a spray a little test run with some water you want to make sure your spray bottle has a decent mist but you also want to make sure that it has, you know, that you can drop a little bit of water droplets on it. So, I don't know if you can see that. See all the little streaks right there? Okay. So, you got to make sure all of that's gone. Because if you don't get rid of the streaks, when you spray this stuff over it, it is going to, um, the streaks will show. And that's a terrible noise. I know. But we got to get rid of these streaks. Make sure it's completely dry. Um, I've already done one of these once. And one of the panes, I did not have all the streaks gone. So these little streaks. And um, the one pane that I didn't get all the streaks off. You can see the streaks. <laughs> the rest of it looks great. But I got one pane that has streaks. So I was a little disappointed with that. But I was happy with the finished product. And I wasn't going to scrape it all off and start over just for one little pane. So I'm just going to make sure I get all of these, these streaks out. And that it is dry. Before I start putting the water on. Um, and I know this may seem like a silly step, um, because I'm going to put water right over top of it, but honestly, all these tutorials that I've watched on doing these, they totally miss saying that, and I ended up with streaks on one of mine, so it is actually very necessary all right so i think i got most of them now um you need to choose the side you want to do it on and this is going to be the front because it's got the widest part of the pane so i'm not worried about how dirty and funky this is i'm gonna we're gonna go back and sand that so all that'll come off um so this is going to be the front of it and the mirror part's going to be on the back and I'm putting the mirror part on the back of this because these are really funky and they're smaller. So it'll lay flat on my wall for display. All right. So um, I'm gonna cut here and then in the next pickup frame, we're gonna be doing the spray. Okay, we're getting ready to spray it with water first. So I got my water bottle here. And I want you to see, see how it's not just quite a fine mist. It has a little bit of, you know, drippy. That's what we want, because we want the little bubbles. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray. And you don't need a lot. Um, just a little bit. And I'm going to sprinkle 
a few of the bubbles. Now, um, if you want to have a clean back, you can put the painter's tape all around. But I don't really care about the back because this is going to be for me. This is going to be for me for display. And these are really good to use for display to hang reeds off of, things like that. And they make a really good backdrop. So, um, I didn't buy this to make it all pretty pretty for my house. It is strictly, oops, sorry for the wobble, um, to look good for pictures. If I can get this glove on. Okay, I got my glove on. Now, um, like I said, it is important to test your spray first, and you might want to spray it on... Um, you know, like some cardboard or something, just to make sure you have like the kind of bubbly look instead of the fine, fine mist, right? And now I've got my looking glass spray. Um, also, when you're using this, even if you've used some before, um, if you've got a can, you still want to shake it up really good and you want to do like a little test spray. See, that's my first test spray right there and all the, um, none of the color came out. But after I sprayed it a little bit, you know, the color's out. But see how that looks with the little bubble right there? That's another test spray. That's what we're going for here. And you don't have to be 100% even. It's okay. Just want to get some coverage there. You don't want to do too much. Because... You don't want to end up with streaks and runs. But you do need to cover the glass. You don't have to worry if you miss some of it. I'm going to go back over this with um, that black. So you don't want it to pull, but you do want coverage. And see the effect that we're getting here. Nice coverage. Okay, great. So what we're going to do is we're going to let it dry just a little bit. Okay. Um, once this dries some, um, then we're going to come back and see these big bubbles like this. We're going to dab those with our paper towels. Just to help them out a little bit. And that's what's going to give you those little spotty marks. And we're going to do the funnel kind of once over. And then I'm just going to leave this. Okay. So I'm going to leave it and let it dry. And then we're going to come back and we're going to get the, we're going to blot a little bit. All right, guys. So this has dried fairly good. It's still not 100% dry. Um, you can tell it's much shinier, um, the darker places are where it is still trying to dry. So now's a good time for us to blot. Oh, and by the way, I'm out here and look at that. Little squirrels eating my bird seed. I socially distance them. I put three little piles out <laughs> so that they won't fight. <laughs> this is crazy. You have to socially distance your squirrels. Um, but they are not afraid of me. They're literally just a few feet away and they don't care that I'm out here um, so back to our project we are going to blot some of these bigger blobs to help it out and this is what's going to give you that really nice effect once we put the black on so we're just going to kind of dab a little bit just to break up some of these bubbles. And it's okay if the bubbles are popped and you still see some regular glass through there. It's perfectly fine because the black is gonna go there. And this is what's gonna give us that antique look that you see. Just light little dabs. 
And you want to wait till it's about like kind of three quarters of the way dry before doing this. Or else you're going to end up with a lot of um, paper towel blobs. Like it's going to actually look like you blobbed it. You'll see paper towel marks. So we're just barely tapping. Just tap, tap, tap. And you'll see that most of it is fairly dry. Right? And this is going to help it finish drying. And then we can put the black on. All right, so I'm going to let that um, finish drying. Leave that set up. And then we'll be back to put the black on. But it's looking pretty cool. Hooray. Okay, so this is dry now. And see how it's got all the little bubbles in it and stuff. Hooray. And I had to move because it started raining. Ugh. But now we're going to put the black on. And you can use craft paint. So some people use, um, you know, regular old craft paint and they just brush it on. But I, I like things to be fast. So I spray paint mine. So I don't have to worry with it. Um, and again, if you want to to save the um, the wood and stuff, you can, you know, of course, put painter's tape on it. Um, but I'm going to do this, you know, pretty quick. It doesn't have to be really thick or anything. Um, you know, it just has to be enough to cover the back of it. So this is what's going to give you the antiqued effect. Um, if you look on the front, which is what would show, so you see, you can see right through it. Right, so we're going to fix that when we put this black on. So just don't put big globs. And again, before you spray it, you need to shake it up really good and spray on, you know, a board or something just to make sure that the black comes out. So it comes out black the way it's supposed to be. And you don't want big, like, blobs. You do want coverage. A nice, quick, short burst are good enough, right? So, see how we did that? We got good coverage there. If you want it to be a little bit spottier and see through some of it, you can just do light and then like that and then just keep going. Um, but I tend to cover the whole thing. So it's really super simple. And this is our last step, other than just, of course, letting it dry. You don't want to get a bunch of drips and stuff, so if your can is starting to drip, you need to make sure you have use some paper towels to wipe it off. But no need to just, like, you know, do, like, don't just sit there and hold the can down and uh, get big pools of it. You don't want to do that. Just nice, quick, short bursts enough to give you coverage is all that's necessary. And we're still working on the back of this. This is the part where we applied the water and the silver mirror finish. And that's where we're putting the black as well. The other side is clean, hasn't had any paint or anything else on it. And you want to leave this and let it dry. And then we'll come back after this is dried. But look at that. Really good coverage. Doesn't matter if some of it's a little lighter in certain areas. It's fine. Because again, it's supposed to be antique looking. 
So we're good. All right, now I'll show you guys the finished product, product once this dries. All right, guys, so here is the final finished mirror. Well, it's not 100% final. We still have to uh, sand the white off. Um, definitely going to do that because it's got, see, it's got like little dirty stuff and everything. And I'm not going to try to clean that. I'm just going to sand it off. Um, and what's great is it has this blue paint underneath of it. So we're going to try to get to that blue. Um, but yeah, it turned out really good. Um, see the little bubbles? Oh, and there's a puppy. What is it, puppy? Do you like mommy's mirror? You do? What do you think of it? <laughs> she thinks she's just going to lay down. There you go. <laughs> All right. So, um, so yeah, it turned out really good. It's got that antique look to it. And it is going to make a really great display. Um, I'm just going to put a little nail in it. Um, you know, right there at the top and use it to display wreaths and things like that. Or use it as a backdrop for, um, you know, single stem flowers. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will post up pictures of how I styled this after we get the um, sanding done. Thanks.